Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve equations using the order of operations. Now, depending on where you're from, that might be referred to as bod mass, bid mass, or ped mass. And basically, what the order of operations is, is it tells us when we're solving an equation, what to do first. For example, let's just start with something simple. If we had an equation that was just 4 plus 6 divided by 3, and we have to solve that, a lot of people that haven't yet done the order of operations would start with 4 plus 6, which is 10, and then try to divide that by 3. However, the order of operations says that division always comes before addition. So to solve this, you would have to do 6 divided by 3, which is 2, and then you would have 4 plus 2 which gives you 6. And that's why bod mass, bid mass, and ped mass are so helpful. They basically stand for all of the operations and what you do first, second, third, all the way to last. So for example, bod mass, the B stands for brackets. So anything in brackets is always going to be the first thing we do. Or here in ped mass, the P just stands for parentheses. So same thing. And then we have O, which stands for order or I indices, or E exponents, they all essentially mean to the power of. So if you have something, I'll just say it's X, to the power of 3 or 2 or anything, we do that power or that order indice exponent second. And then third, we have D, which is division. And then Fourth, we have M, which stands for multiplication. Fifth, we have A, which stands for addition. And last up, we have S, which stands for subtraction. Sorry, it might be a little confusing. These all look like subtractions. So that's the order we will always follow. However, a very important thing to note is that while brackets are always first and exponents is always second, your third and fourth steps are interchangeable. So multiply and divide are essentially both third. In order to determine which one comes first, we will do whichever one is furthest left first. So assume you work left to right, whichever multiplication or division comes first, you do that one first. And that is the same with adding and subtracting. We work left to right because adding and subtracting are interchangeable. We will see more of that in this example. Okay, so we have an example problem here, and now this is actually quite a difficult problem. However, I think you will be able to do it. So, if we remember our steps, our first step is brackets or parentheses. So we look if we have any brackets. It's best if you follow step by step each time until you get better at it and you can take it a bit quicker. So we look if we have any brackets, and yes, we do. We have brackets here. So we do what's inside the brackets first. So everything else will stay the same, and we do what's inside the brackets. So 3 minus 1, that's 2. And then we'll keep our exponent or indice or order, and everything else stays the same. Next, we have O, which stands for order. Everything else stays the same, so that 4 stays out front. And we do the exponent, so 2 to the power of 3. That just means the base number multiplied by itself the number of times the power is. So that's 3 times, so we have 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. And we'll keep everything else the same because it's best not to skip steps when you're getting started. And next we look at our list and multiplication. We have no division so we can skip it and multiplication comes next. So again, we ignore this 4 for now because that's addition. So we don't do 4 plus 8 yet. Instead, we do 8 times 6, which is 48. And now we can finally do our addition to give us our answer of 52. Now, that was a pretty difficult example, so if you got it, great job. I'll do one more example that will be about the same difficulty, maybe even a little bit of a step further. 
So here's our next problem. This one's a little bit more tricky as we will see. So first we always start at looking for brackets and yes, we have brackets. So we can do that as our first step. Everything else will stay the same. Once we do that brackets, that is equal to two and we'll just rewrite everything else. However, as you get better, you can start doing multiple steps in one go. So we see we have done our bracket, which means our next step is our indice or our exponent or our order. So that power of. So we can go ahead and do that in the same step. So 2 to the power of 2 is 4. So we've done our first two operations. Next we have division. But here's the important bit. Remember, division and multiplication are interchangeable along with addition and subtraction. So we do whichever one comes first. So although we have a division, we also have a multiplication. And because our multiplication comes first, because we're working left to right, we do our multiplication before our division. So that will give us 4 plus 4 divided by 4. And now we can do our division before we do our, our addition. So we have 4, and then we have 4 divided by 4, which is 1. And that gives us 4 plus 1, giving us an answer of 5. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to see more examples, let me know in the comments and I might make a follow-up video with some additional examples. But I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.